Hello everyone, we're here at the uh, Daniel Abode, Sean Daniel, Guitar Goddess. Hello. And they recently did a video about getting to know Sean Daniel, and this is actually the And getting to know Guitar Goddess. And getting to know Guitar Goddess. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time I ever met Guitar Goddess in person, and they said, well, let's get to know you, and I said, well, that's a great idea. So they're going to be firing off the same questions, they're all in the same boat. You can see us answer these Absolutely. individually. Yeah, and get to know, I guess, get to know in the mind of, of Stitch. In the mind of Stitch. Look, You've been in the mind of other people. I haven't. All the time. Yeah, uh -huh. like an infection. But to really get in the mind of Stitch is a scary thing. That's why we had to bring her in. Get prepared. Uh-huh. Because hopefully you'll... Act a little more uh, yeah. classy with classy. the with, presence. Because well, yeah. you got me in the smoking pipe. And the smoking pipe. Yeah. It's a good start. It's a good start. <laughs> Nothing in it, but yeah. uh -huh. it's fine. It's fun. Please, would you like to start off? Oh, of course. What is your favorite color? Blue. Ooh. No, no, I like gray. It's gray. Okay. It's gray. A little okay. bit of blue. <laughs> favorite food? Oh my god, that's a hard question. Um, my favorite food would have to be pizza. Ooh, you know, can't a solid never, answer. Yeah, yeah, you can't. I mean, it's just but as you, you know, try to get fancy, you try to say something more sophisticated. Yeah. The answer is always pizza. pizza. It's always pizza. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Favorite spice girl. Whoa. Um, I have to say, and I saw your answer, but it's it's true. I have to say posh. Yeah. Because well, not not right. because of posh spice, but because what she did after. She built a whole empire. She did. Sure. And I actually know someone who works for her. No joke. You know, you know a posh employee? I know a posh, uh, yeah, employee. Like a poshling? Poshling, yeah. That's cool. So I say kudos to her for uh, living the high life as a star and also doing something different with her passion as well. Yeah, I think that's awesome. <laughs> Favorite band? I think we know that one. Well, I can't answer. Okay, can I? What do you mean you can't answer. It's okay, so it's fish. I get it. It's but not like, Grateful Dead. But, what? You got something against Jerry Garcia? What the heck? No, it's, it's it, fish. Grateful Dead. Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Tool. That's fish. <laughs> fish. Yeah. It's fish. It's fish. Nice. Okay. Favorite action star. Listen, I saw your video. I'm listening. Okay, and um, I have to say I agree. Like it's it's Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Van Damme is awesome. And I know you don't know who he is, but like. I mean, blood sport. When I was growing oh, up, with, with the crushed glass and all. Oh my movie. gosh! Uh -huh. I mean, when you're a kid, you're just like, "This is the most amazing thing." So, growing up, it was it was Jean Claude Van Damme. Easy. I love it. Favorite movie? Um, it is. Uh, it's a tie. Can I do tie? Or yeah, no? I, I've done it. Okay, a it's a, a it's a tie bit. between L.A. Confidential and Usual Suspects. Really? Oh yeah. Uh huh. The scene in L.A. Confidential, with Russell Crowe, like breaks the chair because he's so frustrated like I, I'm like yeah so the, I love those two movies mm -hmm. but I mean we can, do, we can go the space balls route but you are yeah. like the Kaiser Sose of YouTube guitar teachers I, I, I totally <laughs> in a lot of ways what's your favorite book um you know to be honest I didn't I haven't really read a ton of books but you, you know the answer you look at it like no I, know I was gonna see if you admit that you haven't I don't know how to read I don't know how to read it. Look at um no uh, I I was, was never an avid book reader, but in the books I've read I have to say Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> <laughs> the Prisoner of Azkaban. I saw the Harry Potter like, series. Oh really? Hey, that's close. It's no, awesome. Prisoner Prisoner of Azkaban is the is the best book I think I've ever read. I mean, it, specifically for this one scene, with it, I remember my jaw dropping and being like We still need to talk about that after the fact. No spoilers. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, yes. Yeah. Okay. Favorite US president. Pre nineteen eighty. Like a historical president. Oh my god, I, don't, I have no idea. I don't have a favorite president. Uh, who was the president in 1979 when I was born? Was it Carter? It's a long time ago, I mean, I don't know. Whoever the president was in 1979 is my favorite president. So you're, all right, your favorite president is the one presiding over your birth? Yeah, he was here, when it, you, he was here when it happened. I, I, I'm, I'm not very, very political, so I'm sorry. You know? that, that's why we said historical. George Washington. Taft, because he was the biggest. Cool, let's do it. Taft, all right. Awesome. Okay, all right. We gotta love Taft. 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 Favorite holiday? Hmm. Um, Halloween, easy. Oh, yeah, yeah. because it, there's there's no. It's all about I don't know. It, it's it's fun vibe, man. I love it. You know, what's the last Halloween costume you dressed up as? Like, oh, I dressed up as a uh, bloody zombie dad Ooh, for my kids. Awesome. We went dad. and like I, mean, I used to use their leftover makeup and put it on. They're like, "Who are you?" And I was like, "A zombie dad." And they're like, "Yeah," and that was it. So it was cool. But my wife and I have a killer. Costume for next year. Can I tell you what it is? Yes, please. No, I'm not, not going to tell you what it is because somebody's going to do it and I want to win Reddit. Like, I'm going to win it. It's going to be great. That's so, awesome. that's, that's, that's a tall order. Right oh, it's such an awesome costume. All right, fantastic. Okay. okay. Favorite Disney movie? Oh my gosh. Um, Brother Bear. <laughs> <laughs> I, Mitch, no, answer. Well, Brother Bear, I remember my kids were watching it and I was so. It, it's like one of the older 
Disney movies that like use the old like drawn animation, but it was like spectacular. You know, it wasn't like digital. Oh yeah. And I was like, oh my god, like that bear is like his mouth like. It was awesome. Oh, anyway, bears. Yeah. Brother Bear. bears, I'm in. Brother Tiger bears, bears, I'm there. Yeah. The, the, the Bear Jamboree at Disney World. I mean, I can tell. No, I've got a story about that. Oh which my I gosh. can't tell right now. Okay. Yeah. But. <laughs> we'll, we'll do the outtake blooper reel. Okay. Okay. Disney princess you most identify with. Oh, God. Um. Oh, my. Um. I. Uh. It's yeah, I, it's what? The I'm trying to get a pipe. Okay, I have a weird answer for this. Okay, um, The Little Mermaid. Okay. Be- Ariel. Well, Ariel, because I have a daughter who, like, dreams big, but, like, dreams so big that the reality of the world, like, she can't do things. So oh. I'm always saying, like, well, you can't really do that. And I feel like her dad, yeah. who's like, no, Ariel, you know, but I'm like, oh, because, well, because, like, we can't really build a spaceship, but if we do, I'll probably get arrested and blow myself up. So, like, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So that's But that's I'm not saying. who you identify with. That's who your daughter identifies But I identify through her. I can, I can... No, I see. Like, like, Loki said that you're like Poseidon. That's right. That's okay. Tri- okay. Triton. Tri- 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 yeah, he's bad. Yeah. So like, no, I'm kidding. I, I'm, okay, um, Elsa, because I've got awesome magic powers. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, there's my answer. I wish I could have a better answer, but I'm not well versed in that. So okay. 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 Well, well, that's Sorry. Understandable. Okay. Ariel, it is. Ariel. Thoughts on decorative pillows. Oh, I'm. All, all about them. We have them at home. As, all as, about them. As a matter of fact, we had Halloween decorative pillows that we got from my place. Thank you yes, very much. Yep, no problem. There it is. Um, and also, they are comfortable for me. I grab them and hug them and, and use them. I do. But I mean, I, 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 I accept fancy. both. I accept both worlds. I do. I mean, I'm a very accepting person. I, when I work, really are. You know, it's really funny. But it, and I think that um, uh, guitar goddess will get this. Like, if I do walk into a house and like. Your house has decorative pillows. Your studio does not, so this is different. But if I walk into a house and there's no decorative pillows, I, I, in, in this, it, it's like, well, this home, this home ain't a home. You know, type thing. You know, that, that's your baseline. It, no, no, it's just like when you see decorative pillow, you're like, oh, comfiness. Like there's, there, yeah, there's a little bit of love made into this fighting. room. You know, and I get it. Like I was a bachelor in an apartment that was, I had like a couch that was falling apart, no pillows. That's the best you can do. But when you walk into a home and there's a family and, and there's decorative pillows, it says like, hey, we're building something here. Yeah. So it was like as a child when you were lured into a van, there were decorative pillows. Oh yeah, I just like, jumped oh, right in. Oh, oh, cool. Cool. Where, are where are we going? I'm in. Yeah. Who's your spirit animal? What is your spirit animal? Cat. That's right. Yeah, we've <laughs> talked about that before. Uh, next question. <laughs> your favorite Avenger of the core four. Uh, you're gonna hate me because I have no idea who the Avengers are. Right. Iron Man. Iron Man. Yep. Captain America. Yeah. Hulk and oh. Thor. Well, not Thor because he's. Thor. Um, oh, Thor. Iron Man, I know you like him because he's a self-made man, but I, I don't like Iron Man. Um, I have to go with Captain America, only because I remember I watched the Captain America movie and it was so cool to see him go from this like, super scrawny guy to this buff guy, and I was yeah. like, that was cool. I don't nice. know how he did that, but I'm like, that was great. So, Captain America, that's my answer. All right. <laughs> Who is your hero? Can't be someone you know, so not like, you know, you can't say guitar guy. <sighs> you're going to, you're going to, I was going to say Sean Daniel, but um, you're going to, Who's my hero? This can take a lot of time. You're gonna hate my answer. I learned I learned early on like don't have heroes in your life. And and I know it sounds weird. You have inspirational people, but I feel like I feel like if you make someone a hero, it makes it unattainable to be able to do what they do. So I don't really have any heroes. Like people inspire me. I was someone inspired you <laughs> greatly. I don't know. Um, you know Trey from Fish, Jerry Garcia, great. Adam okay. Carey from Tool. Okay. You know. Adam Carey from Tool. I can't Danny, believe Danny you Carey. Just said that. Danny uh, Carey. Oh my god! Wow. Oh, man, it's the pipe. I don't know what's in this pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Carey. Favorite TV show? Seinfeld. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, done. Favorite fast food place? Favorite what? Fast food place. <laughs> fast food place. Fast. Favorite fat food place. Favorite fast food place. I think you kind of skipped no. over the. You went like this. Did I really? Yeah. We're gonna have to fill in my blanks after. Sean Potter House. Wait, you gotta answer fast food place. Yeah. Sean, I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. It's Taco Bell. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. Please tell me. Because their their seven layer burrito made fresco style, no dairy, no meat. Is it really? Yes. Really? No. Absolutely. Oh my god. Fresco gosh. style takes fresco style takes all the dairy out. So if you get a seven layer, which is already vegetarian, and they take out the sour cream, and you're gonna add an extra salsa. So you can get any ID anything you want made with beans and fresco style, you got it. T Bell. Pro tip. Pro tip right here. Pro tip. Yes. Awesome. Alright, you're gonna have to fill in my legs. Harry Potter house that you would be sorted in. 
you know, I thought about this a lot, and I've not done the Pottermore. Mm-hmm. And as much as I'd want to be in Griff- Gryffindor, I-, I have a funny thing that I'd-, I'd just be in Hufflepuff. You are. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Like, yeah. I just, like, that's you like Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Yeah. Hufflepuff. Which, which sucks, because Hufflepuff gets, it's like, oh, here are the houses, and then there's fucking Hufflepuff, which has a cute name, but we're not going to dress it because the name is so effing cute. Well, I mean, so, <laughs> Ravenclaw's kind of the same way, yeah? Yeah, but it's a cool name. Yeah, that's true. Ravenclaw. That is kind of true. What do you want? I'm a Hufflepuff. I sound like a pastry, <laughs> and I look like a pastry. Anyway, so Hufflepuff. There you go. Uh, favorite subreddit. Oh, that's great. I um, there, it's a tie, but I'll say. Oh my god, shower thoughts. <laughs> shower thoughts. I always love that. What? It's good. Shower thoughts are good. Any shower thoughts you care to share? Uh, no, I I, I try. No, I, I don't know. I can't recite them off the top of my head. But shower thoughts always entertains me. Shower thoughts are pretty good. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. I also like mildly interesting. But yeah, that's right. Right. okay. Uh, favorite board game. Holy moly! Favorite board game. Um, that's hard. That, that was, was a hard question for me. Well, I'll have to say, based on the fact that like there are board games which take skill and backstabbing, and there are games that like are like Candyland, which I play <laughs> with my kids. It's just like, hey, I got the lollipop. Fantastic. It's Candyland. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, like, you can't, I've learned you can't play Risk with people now because, like, it just, like, makes everyone salty. Yeah, of course. Because eventually, like, two people have to team up. Yeah. And, it's and like, then your friendship is broken. It's odd. Don't ever play Risk with your friends. Remember 1984 when you went with John on Risk? Yeah. And, and it comes people, back to you. People don't forget that. So, yeah. It's messed up. It. No, Risk. Favorite song? Come oh, on, man. Um... Like if I was stuck on an island and I had to listen to one song. No, your favorite it. song. Qualify however you, you want. Rosanna by Toto. <laughs> no, it is not. Why not? I have eight thousand of them. I pick them. I I mentally pick in the jar and look. Oh, that was Rosanna from Toto. <laughs> You're so awful, Pop. It's like, <laughs> like the theme of awful, Pop. Dude, I'm sorry, but that song is sick. It's got a good groove. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. It's so good. So good. Anyway, there you go. Favorite TV show? Where is it? This? I did that. I, I said that. Oh, you did that. I screwed okay, it up okay, because I, I went all over the place. Okay, so now okay. you can start here. I, favorite Power Ranger? Um, I'm, I, I, I watched Power Ranger for like three episodes. I'm just going to go with the red Power Ranger because he was like Jason. 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 Well, he was, he, he was like the alpha male. He was. And he's yeah. like, I'm going to fix everything. You guys sit here. And I was like, oh, I'm going to fix everything. And then Tommy came in. Tommy's also awesome. Was he the black one? Well? Uh, Tommy's a Zach green, a and then he became the White Ranger. The White Ranger. Yeah. Yeah, I. Yeah, me and me and Power Rangers kind of just missed in our lives. So there you go. Sad. Yeah. It's not too late. Okay. Uh, if not YouTube, or if not a guitar teacher, what would you be doing? Motivational speaking. Yeah. I can yeah. see that. Cool. Yeah, I, I love making people feel good about life. <laughs> That's it. It's true. Life's good. It's awesome, man. It's, it's all perspective. One piece of advice that you could give to children. We're talking like eight, ten year olds. <clears throat> One piece. You want the real deal? Real deal. All right. If I had a bunch of eight and ten year olds here, mm-hmm. I'd be like, listen, gathered around, be like, tell us. You're gonna, yeah, I'll tell them. Like, listen, in life, you're gonna be hurt and you're gonna be disappointed and you're gonna feel incredibly bad, but you have to realize you're not alone and that those stories have been told millions of times and you just gotta realize like it's not you. You're not unique in that part. And everyone feels bad, but you have the power to see it differently and pull through and just be the person you are. That's true. That's very real. And that's true. Yeah, for sure. Motivational speaker. Awesome. For eight year olds. Done. <laughs> Pays well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you could time travel to warn yourself of something, what would it be? Ooh, to any point in time. Yeah. Okay, I got this. Mm-hmm. Sixth grade. All right, okay. what happened? Paint I, was, picture. I was in the tennis team, and oh. I was good. Really? I was captain. Okay. You're captain of the tennis. I was, but captain doesn't mean the best player. It just means captain. Yeah. I was playing Joey Kinder for first seed, and Joey Kinder, if you're watching this man, you're gonna listen. This is the one thing that's haunted me, the haunted me in my life. This one thing. We were playing for first seed, and he was a sore loser, right? And it was game game set match point. He hit the ball and it went out and it was so close. And I knew it was out. You could see it hit like beyond the line, but he was so far away. You could see him like looking and I never called it. I never called it and kept playing. I ended up losing the match. I was second seed. He was first seed. So I I would go back and be like, listen, Ian, 
like in the locker room, call that ball out, call it out, and tell the truth. You'll be thankful. Ah, so there you go. That's what I would do. Wow. It's beautiful. Who knows how things could have turned out? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I would, I, I, in the long run, I would hate to have been first seed because I was such a great second seed. I was kicking everyone. Oh, it's so much better, right? Yeah, yeah, I was like, you I was like, bam, bam, bam. Yeah. I was like, I was like, always just getting worked by the finest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, woo, my like, God. But that's what I would say. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Good advice. Favorite guitarist? Come on now. Uh, yeah, it's going to be Trey. Okay. It's going to be Trey and Stasio. Yeah. He, he moved me like, no, hold the Jimmy Page. Yeah. Jimmy Page, Trey and Stasio. Combo, baby. The combo. All right. <laughs> Favorite male singer. Favorite male singer. Oh, come on, Maynard James Keenan. Nice, without a doubt. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I had to think about that. His voice He's is tattooed. Just, His voice is tattooed upon your. I have soul. I have Maynard James uh, lyrics tattooed on my body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. Female singer. Ooh, female singer. Um, you know, you're gonna laugh at this, but. Never laugh at your answers. No, you're not with this, but I feel like. Well, let me think for a second. I have to like load it up. Um, favorite female singer. When I think of a female singer who she's dead now, um, but it had to be Whitney Houston. I think her voice was incredible. It's amazing. Like I mean, like you listen to it and you go, Gee, I know she had problems in life and all that stuff, but like that voice, you're just oh, like it was like rock solid. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So Whitney Houston, I thought was amazing. All right, I'll allow that. Okay. Dreamiest Hollywood hunk. Dreamiest Hollywood hunk. Absolute dreamiest. Like, uh, um, dr- like, dr- oh, God, I don't know. Um, <sighs> Whatever dreamy means to you. It could be like a eyes thing. It could just be a persona. Soft skin. For some reason, Hugh, Hugh Jackman came. I don't know, because of Wolverine? I don't know, like, just sure. like. I'm Hugh like, Jackman's a great yeah. answer. Okay, Hugh uh, Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Great. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what would your wrestling finish move be? What a wrestling finish move? Yeah. Finishing move. Kick yeah. in the nuts. That's it. That's a finishing move? Oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, in I real mean, life, that is a. F- I think if you, after that. You're a pro wrestler. You grab, you grab him by the head and you look him in the eyes and, they, and, the, and the crowd's going to finish him and you just whack and you watch his eyes roll back and drop him. Kick him in the nuts. That's actually been a move. That's Kick him in the nuts. That's it. <laughs> Olympic event you'd be best at. Sitting in the chair. No, um, Olympic Olympic event I'd be best at, or that I'd want to be best Least worst at. No, that you right now, you, the, the one that you would be least embarrassed at. <laughs> the, the ski jump. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so I, can, I can make right it. Now. I can, <laughs> my mask, my short mask, and like, woo, and like, whoa, you know? <laughs> P, what is it? Momentum equals, momentum equals uh, mass times speed. Yeah, I would. I mean, like, I'd be a little afraid of the landing, but I. A little be, afraid yeah. of landing? <laughs> I practiced a couple of times, learned a couple of ski great, great answer. Yeah. Uh, great. Great answer. Uh, what's it? <laughs> we're at 18 minutes. It's okay, we're good. What's okay. your favorite YouTube video you've ever done? My favorite YouTube video I've ever done. Um. Ooh, that's great. There's so many, it's so weird. Before I answer this question, when I have to think of like new videos, I'm like, did I do that already? You know, so it's weird. Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite video. I think I did was I, I I would say my Franklin's Tower video for the Grateful Dead because uh, the reason being is like it, it's it's an A mixolydian progression and a lot of people like throughout my entire life like oh just solo an A mixolydian and every time I do I'd be like there's something just not right mm-hmm. so I really had to, like listen felt, figure what's going on and it taught me a lot and then in the video I had my cat mm-hmm. Quinn who died and my wife in it and uh, and I taught a lot of people like a different side of the story and I'm very proud of it. Cool. Yeah, so you go. I like it. All right, so you're in prison, right? Right now. Uh, I knew it. That guy, the, the guy that you killed, they, oh. pre- they ended up pressing charges. Okay, with the Frisbee. Yeah. Okay. So you're in prison, not really wrongfully accused, but it's kind of unfair. Yeah. You have to get a tattoo as because you're in prison. Okay. Prison. What would your prison tattoo be, and where would it be? <laughs> okay, so I've got a prison tattoo. Prison tattoo. Um... Like, like to take sides, like that type of thing? Like No, it's, it's whatever you want to yeah. You could take a side with your prison tattoo. I have no idea. I would just get a cool tattoo. Like, like, I, I a cool this. tattoo? Where would you put it then? Uh, okay. I would get the ending lyrics of Lateralis by Tool tattooed right down my back. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Nice. That's all. I did. It's, 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 like, it's a like tattoo. From where? From where? Uh, with my feet upon the ground, I lose myself between the sound, open wide to suck it in, I feel it move beneath my skin. I'm um, it's a big tattoo, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, 
I open. I forgot the rest of the lyrics. Yeah, yeah I did. I mean, Spiral you, up, I, I don't know. So like, that, you know, what? having two lyrics tattooed on you is actually a solid prison move. Yeah. Be like, I'm crazy. I don't. I'm yeah, crazy. yeah. I wouldn't mess with the two yeah. tattoo lyrics guy. Yeah. Good. Good answer. Thank you. Really good answer. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Most impactful T Swizzle song. T Swift. Oh well, we I was interested in your live yeah. stream, which was um, what's the um today was a fairy tale. Today was a fairy. Tale. For the reason being, it, it inspired many women to pick up the guitar, and it had a great chord progression that people could identify with and help get into how music works. So today was a fairy tale. Yes, we said T Swizzle. It's like I don't know the rapper. T Swizzle. <laughs> that is actually her rapper name. Oh, okay, cool. She did rap. Yeah. With, uh, T Pain one time. Oh really? It's yeah. T Swizzle. Where that came from? Okay. Favorite video game. Ooh. Okay. In the comments, <laughs> let me know, because this was my favorite game of all time from Nintendo, which was Ooh. 3D World Runner. I, I know. Oh I my know. god, it was the okay. best game. You were just this guy on the screen, and the world ran towards you, and you had to jump, and sometimes what? there was huge pits, and you have to like jump off this pole, and like, boom. Do you use the power pad for that? No, it was just it was just the, the controller. 3D World Runner sucked up. A ton of my life, I was like obsessed with it when I was a kid. You know, what? you never yeah. stopped running. Well, I'm sure if you look up, I have something. If you look, if you go on YouTube and look up 3D World on Nintendo, I'm sure there's a person playing it. it it's Bob Seger edition. <laughs> Bob Seger <laughs> running against the running against the running. Against the running. Uh, that was loose DLC. That was loose good analogy <laughs> right there. <laughs> All right, go ahead. What's an unusual skill uh, that you have that a lot of people don't know? The unusual. skill? You know, oh, I could, uh, I could um, hum and beatbox at the same time. Oh, that's amazing! Because I'm not really, not really beatbox, but like. How are you doing that's that? Magical. <laughs> I can't tell you my secrets. Wow. Is that cool? I think you need to make a master class. <laughs> that. that. Amazing. It's your least favorite band. Oh, we just did that. What? Really? It's <laughs> wow! It's like a bro moment. <laughs> my man! Well, I mean, look at what was that. I no offense to them, it's just my least favorite. I've never yeah, sure. Okay. Favorite late night host? Oh, man. Uh, favorite late night host? Could be current, could be all time. Hmm. I, mean, I, I used to watch a ton, a ton of Letterman. Like, well, the funny thing is, Letterman, to me, when I was a kid, was like the king of it. And now, and I don't watch any more late night TV, but Jimmy Fallon is so funny. He really is. So I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say David Letterman real life, but Fallon for the modern culture. Okay. Okay. The facial expression you would make when pretending to listen. You have to look into the camera and make it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so with the pipe. The pipe adds an extra yeah, layer. It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there. There. I Can like it. it. Cool. Give me, yeah, give me, uh... Oh, what's your, what's your zodiac what's sign? Leo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you didn't have to act that one out. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> just, uh, and then last, last one. Last question. Oh, cool. Favorite YouTuber? Oh, God! <laughs> Ian Stitch. All right, so... Yes, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> no. Um, favorite YouTuber? It doesn't have to be. No, I'm, not, I'm really trying to think of like my favorite YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Favorite. Now, I don't have a favorite YouTuber in terms of like, before I was on YouTube, I was not a big YouTube fan. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I will have to say, and Guitar Guys, please don't take offense, I have to say it's, it's okay. Sean Daniel because it's okay. I, I, do watch, I do watch his stuff and He's, I have a lot to thank to oh, him for. So He's I, one of my favorite yeah. YouTubers. So Sean Daniel. Yeah. This is what the whole entire this is the whole entire interview came to. That was the, the purposeful last question. I knew I would make it about me somehow. Yeah, so go <laughs> sub to Sean Daniels' channel. <laughs> if you haven't already. That was it. And Guitar Guy's channel too. And Guitar Guy's channel. You can see us on the hot seat. Yeah, you can. Yeah, both of you have to answer these questions. Mm -hmm. How to feel on the hot seat. And we, then we should make a poll as to who answered the best. Who did it best. Oh. Yeah, see that? And then, and then we should see who wore it best. So oh, yeah. That, that competition, most head face riffs, shirts coming soon, which I don't have on right now. Which, uh, but you have one so we can add have one. Poll. Yeah, I should put them on. Exactly. I'm excited I'll about I'll put them on my cat take a picture. Okay. <laughs> no, you can't do that. Hmm? Smile through you go. Well, hey, if there's any other questions that you people want to ask. Oh, yeah, put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.